add or subtract simple fractions and mixed numbers. What is the difference between similar and dissimilar fractions? Similar fractions are fractions that have the same denominator, while dissimilar fractions have different denominators. Let us see the different examples of similar fractions. 3 eighths and 7 eighths, 1 third and 2 thirds, 6 and 5 ninths and 4 ninths, 3 and 10 thirteenth and 1 and 7 thirteenth. They are considered as similar fractions because they have the same denominator. Let us now look at the examples of the similar fractions. The similar fractions should have different denominators. 1 fifth and 2 thirds. 8 eleven and 2 seven. 2 and 3 eighths and 1 half. 7 and 12 15 and 3 and 2 ninths. We have here fractions that have different denominators. That's why they are considered as the similar fractions. In adding and subtracting fractions, we have some steps to follow. First, to simply add or subtract the numerators and copy the denominators. We need to simplify if necessary. And when the answer, which is the sum or difference, is an improper fraction, change it to a mixed number. Let us try example number 1. 3 fifth and 1 fifth, or 3 fifth added by 1 fifth. To add similar fractions, we need to copy the denominator, and add the numerator. In subtracting similar fractions, we also need to copy the denominator, then subtract the numerator. So therefore, 3 fifth plus 1 fifth is equal to 4 fifth, and 7 ninths minus 3 ninths is equal to Four ninths. Example number two. Three tenths plus one tenth. Copy the denominator. Then add the numerator. The answer is four tenths. We can try to simplify the fraction into a smaller fraction by dividing the numerator and the denominator by its GCF or the greatest common factor. In this case, the greatest common factor of 4 and 10 is number 2. Therefore, we need to divide the numerator 4 and the denominator 10 by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 and 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. That's why the answer for 3 tenths plus 1 tenth is 2 fifth. Example number 3 is subtracting similar fractions. It is also the same process in subtracting or adding similar fractions. We need to copy the denominator, then subtract the numerator. If we can simplify the answer, let us simplify the answer by dividing it by its GCF. In this case, the GCF of 5 and 15 is 5. Therefore, 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1 and 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. 9 15 minus 4 15 is equal to 1 third. Example number 4. 4 7 plus 5 7. 
we need to copy the denominator, 7, and then add the numerator. 4 plus 5 is equals to 9. The answer here is an improper fraction. Since we have a bigger or larger number in the numerator than the denominator, Therefore, we need to change the answer into a mixed number. To change improper fraction to mixed number, we need to divide the numerator by its denominator. The answer will be the whole number. The remainder will be the numerator. And the divisor will be the denominator. And the answer here is 1 and 2, 7. Therefore, 4, 7 added by 5, 7 is equals to 1 and 2, 7. If you already understood on how to add and subtract similar fractions, let us now move on with addition and subtraction of dissimilar fractions. First is to find the LCD or the least common denominator. Change to equivalent fractions and then follow the steps in adding or subtracting similar fractions. Example number one. Three fifth plus seven tenths. Since this is a dissimilar fraction, we are going to find the LCD by identifying the least common multiple of both denominators. And the least common multiple of 5 and 10 is 10. That will be our new denominator. To change the fractions to similar fractions, we need to divide first the LCD by the denominator, 10 divided by 5 is equals to 2. And then multiply by the numerator. So 2 multiplied by 3, the answer will be 6. The same with the second fraction. 10 divided by 10 is equals to 1. Multiplied by 7, the answer will be 7. Since we already have a similar fractions, we can now simply add the numerator and then copy the denominator. In this case, we have an answer of improper fraction. That's why we need to change improper fractions into mixed fractions. We need to divide the numerator by the denominator. One will be the whole number. 3 is the numerator, and 10 will be the denominator. So the answer will be 1 and 3 tenths. If you know how to add or subtract similar and dissimilar fractions, you can also add or subtract mixed numbers. Add or subtract the whole numbers first, and then add or subtract the fractional part. Let us see the example. 1 and 3 fifth added by 2 and 1 fifth. We need to add first the whole numbers 1 and 2 and then add the fractional part which is 3 fifth added by 1 fifth. So 1 plus 2 we will have an answer of 3 and 3 fifth plus 1 fifth will have an answer of 4 fifth. Therefore, the answer here is 3 and 4 fifth. That is also the same steps in subtracting mixed numbers. If you have any questions, just feel free to comment in the comment box below.